Hey guys, this is MLG My Little Pony Gamer here, bringing you another Let's Play, or bringing you another episode of Let's Play My Little Pony, My Little Pony's Adventure Witchcraft or something. I don't know. <laughs> no, I'm joking. This is uh, a Nintendo Death Machine here, welcoming you back to another episode of Let's Play: Link to the Past. Right. So in the last episode, we got ourselves the Ice Rod. And in this episode, we are going to do... This episode's not going to be really much of a long episode. We're just going to head over to um, Kakariko Village. And our objectives are is to rescue the ponies from being slaughtered by witches and being used for majestic purposes. I don't know. <laughs> uh, no, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm just joking around with you guys. We're heading over to Kakariko Village to... Um, find the library because we need to get ourselves a book to enter the second dungeon and we're going to head over there now and as you can see that I'm recording with Frap so I'm gonna give it a try actually because I don't really like the quality of my Hypercam videos and I just think that if I record like that throughout the rest of the whole LP it's just gonna look so damn blurry and stuff and I just don't like the blurry effect of it even if it does lag I'm not really going to um, I'm not going to well, it all depends. This is not going to be. If if it does look bad, then it's not going to be temporary. This is this is just going to be um basically a test video kind of. If you think of, if you think of it that way, it's kind of like a test video to see if Fraps is tolerable. And if you guys like it, then I will continue recording with Fraps. If you guys don't like it, then just let me know, and I will record with Hypercam. It's just a matter of preference, really. Whether you like me to record in Hypercam or whether you like me to record in Fraps. And I'm being raped up the ass by these swords of, from these knights. And I just want to get past them and try and get to Kakariko. <laughs> That's all I want. Is to get to the village. In one piece. And there's also a heart piece that I can get from here as well. Uh, speaking of pieces, yeah. There's the heart piece we can get from this house. And that's if we have any bombs. Because I don't think we do. Oh yeah, we do. I must have picked some up then. Alright, so we're going to place ourselves a bomb here, and as you can see there's a cracked wall, so that's going to reveal a secret passageway to the other side of the house. And as you can see, these guys look exactly the same. Yes, they are brothers, and apparently they've had some kind of argument, and one of the brothers got pissed off with the other brother and decided to lock him in the other room, so then he couldn't be disturbed while he masturbates. Hey, NDM, did you come from my older brother's room? Is he still angry? Yeah, he's still angry. You found his gay porn, I mean... <laughs> Uh, no, I'm joking. <laughs> if you can reach the goal within 15 seconds, we will give you something good. Ready, set, go. Right, I need to remember how you use... Right, okay. That's how you use the Pegasus boots. Right. Because you need to do this in a very fast time, and I don't think I've done it, so... <laughs> Unfortunately. Yeah, I, I, that, was, I, that was way too slow. Wait, did I get it? You qualified. Congratulations. I present you with a piece of heart. What? What? I did it? Oh, sweet. <laughs> you got a piece of heart. Nice. Well, thank you. Alright, so now we're going to do what we mainly wanted to come here for, and that's to go into the library. I just wanted to pick up that piece of heart because it was there. How many more do we need now? Oh, right. We need three more pieces to form a new heart container. Okay. Um, like I say, we pretty much cleared up Kakariko Village for all the heart containers at this point in the game. Alright, so now we're going to ram into this bookcase and we're going to grab ourselves a book of The Lord of the Rings! You got yourselves The Lord of the Rings, now find the ring in Mordor. <laughs> Go to Mordor and get the ring. I've never actually, I never watched Lord of the Rings, but I know there's Mordor and that's the evil world. Yeah, you guys are probably going to hate me for not watching The Lord of the Rings. Um, because that's like a really epic uh, adventure film, but I've just never had the re really had the time to watch it, and usually if I watch long films like that, I always end up falling asleep. I must have ADHD or something. <laughs> I can watch two hour films in that, but if a film goes like for three hours long, with, like The Lord of the Rings does, I can't watch it. Uh, now it's starting to lag. Dude, stop it. It's not funny, man. <laughs> okay. It's probably because I have my browser open. I should have crossed that off. I should have just crossed every single program off my desktop. I'll probably do that in the next episode and give it a little test to see if it works better that way. But well, sometimes it just doesn't seem to make a difference. <laughs> I don't know why. It just doesn't. 
But we're almost done with this episode anyway, so I can just like close off my programs as quickly as I can. And then give a little test recording in the next episode, see if it works a little bit better. And if it does, then I'll continue using Fraps. Because I like playing in full screen, you see. I just don't like playing in a small screen. Because when I record with Hypercam, I can't record it in full screen. Whereas with Hyper, whereas with Fraps, it's different. I can record in full screen, and it looks so much better. And I can see what I'm doing so much more easily. And I just don't have to play in the small screen. Whereas on a Game Boy, where I play with Minish Cap, it's different. I have to use Hypercam for that, and it's much more easier for me to use a Hypercam on it anyway. And coming in, you get yourself another piece of heart. You found a piece of heart. So now we got two in this episode, and we'll be getting another one in the next episode. Ah, it is, it is the Book of Medora. With it, you can read the language of the Hylia people. Alright, so we got ourselves the Book of Medora, as, as it's called. I used to call it the, the Book of Mar Marauder, I think that's what I used to call it. But it's, now, it's not called the Book of Mar Marauder, it's called the Book of Medora. I was young and stupid. <laughs> yeah, I used to call it the Book of Mar Marauder. Alright. I'm running really low on health here and there. I don't think there are any fairy fountains in this desert, so I'm kind of screwed right now. Just leave me alone, you stupid vulture! Get out of here! To open the way, go to to open the way to go forward. Make your wish here, and it will be granted. Oh, I'm praying to the gods of Hyrule. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, get out of here, you stupid vulture! No, I didn't just die. Oh, f for God's sake. Oh, wait. Oh, no, never mind. I got myself a fairy. <laughs> Woo. I thought I literally got a game over just then. I'd have been so annoyed with that. <laughs> right, anyway, guys. This is the second dungeon. The east... Not the eastern palace. Palace. The desert palace. So, in the next episode, let's play Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. I shall start the desert palace. So, the, yeah, this is NDM saying thanks for watching and goodbye.